Meet graphic designer and entrepreneur Idania Del Rio. She's a Cuban millennial who's opened a shop called Clandestina in Old Havana, selling Cuba's first clothing brand. Del Rio designs and produces silk screen printed t-shirts, clothes and accessories. In four years, the business has grown to the point where Clandestina employs 27 people. No easy feat given Cuba's limited resources and constant shortages. Well, we find whatever we can. Sometimes it's this uh, pink fabric, sometimes it's a different one. For example, we buy the ink some in, in Mexico. Sometimes we don't have blue, sometimes we have only black. Like many of her generation, Idania yeah. Del Rio left Cuba shortly after graduating to find work abroad. But in 2013, as Cuba started to expand the private sector, she and her Spanish partner decided to return. Yeah, I decided to come back and, and try a little bit what was going on. It was like a, a really fresh, unknown opportunity. We, we, we don't have any, you know, business background. We didn't have a, a, a single idea about how to do this. What's it like for a private entrepreneur trying to do business here in Cuba? From Cuba, that is an amazing country, but it's really disconnected. Do you have internet here? No, no, no. So how do you do this business? Well, we go to the park and stay there with the computer. Like many Cubans, Del Rio's only access to the internet is at the Wi-Fi hotspots that the government has set up in parks and other locations. Her big breakthrough came during last year's historic trip to Cuba by former U.S. President Barack Obama. She spoke at a meeting he organized between U.S. businessmen and Cuban entrepreneurs. Obama was impressed and wanted to buy some of her T-shirts for his daughters. I think Molly and Sasha might, uh, might want a couple. And I still have some pesos to spend before I leave. But times have changed, and under U.S. President Donald Trump, fewer Americans are visiting Cuba. So Clandestina has gone to the United States instead. They may not have any internet in the shop, but that hasn't stopped Clandestina from becoming the first private Cuban business to open an international e-commerce site. <laughs> the website clandestina.co was launched in October with a party. With the help of US partners, Americans can now view and buy her clothes online. The designs are sent to the US, printed and shipped from there. I would love to think that we are kind of an inspiration to, to the young people, to young designers, to any creative people that, you know, can see that it's possible to do something like this. Michael Voss, CGTN, Havana.